Hello guys, thank you so very much beautiful people for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite show Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bang. Hope you guys had an incredible week and if you're here because you want to find out everything that happened to the entertainment industry then this is the right platform. Take the best position and let's get it popping with the first segment of this program guys, go nowhere. I'll be right back just after this. Students from the Faculty of Law and Political Science in the University of Boya have been suspended for making a TikTok video during their internship. And according to a press release from the Dean, all internships currently carried out by the students of this faculty have been suspended till further notice. Guys, it was a vibe on vibes. You should check this out. I'm a ticking dynamite. I play Wow, girls, I love your vibes. It was so fun that you girls had to take it from the table to the chair. Wonder what would have happened if there was a bed there. The vibes from the girls were hot, but that from the dean was extra hot and juicy. But wait, could their suspension be linked to the fact that they were actually not vibing to a Cameroonian song? Come to think of it. But at the same time, I think the suspension was harsh because uh, only those who were involved in the video were supposed to be suspended and not make it a whole faculty issue. It's not a bad thing to do a video at your workplace, especially if you're in the mood. But I think as an intern, we're still forging our way into the professional milieu. There should be a little bit of retenue on your side when it comes to professional ethics, especially at this early stage of your career. After the tragic incident that claimed the life of Erika, may her soul rest in peace, Tenor allegedly pleads guilty for her death. I don't want to talk about the whole story because we all remember what happened on July 15. According to recent reports circulating, Tenor has taken full responsibility of what happened that early morning. He admitted being the one driving and he said he was driving under the influence of alcohol. Due to health issues, Tenor was temporarily released on bail thanks to the effort of his lawyers, but earlier this week he was remanded in custody at the New Bell prison for a month on charges of manslaughter. While Erika's family keeps rolling with the slogan, Justice for Erika, we pray Tenor finds a way to forgive himself and learn his lessons. You see this life, it's so uncertain and full of surprises. You never know what may happen next. All we have to do is just be careful and learn from the errors of others. Cameroonian artist Fish finally clears the air about the embarrassing incident which happened to him last weekend at La Calf Snack in Boya. For more details about what happened, make sure you check our previous episode. During a live session with Kobolistic Kobo, the artist said he bought drinks on his table. And after a while, there were these clients who came in and he was asked to leave that table because according to the manager, these clients were coming to spend way more than he was currently spending. <laughs> On the controversial side of it, this is what happened. Well, that useless man who can buy one score for bar, eh? Walk up from table to table, begin to coach my customer then. Make them make feel uncomfortable so that they change their table, leave it for that table. He go come out to that table, go different table, go because the very thing. Go take two prostitutes, that I show prostitute in Las Vegas. Can't push my cost on the table, see me the man who come made that get the shit done for the day. But it be normal. Man, I buy from my place. I will call fish for corner and say, okay, bro, the attitude will get on the fine. You don't make a, I don't do over support for the bar. All about on dinner for boy, and I only like have don't bring me a drink for the day. They will try to support their fashion because they be artists. But I don't see and see one over extend. They my cost my day so now my big buyer. I know if he ever give me a duty can foolish. That man embarrass me, coach me from prison. I get out. Me, me and the boy will come onto the table, 80 years bottle now waiting for you for buy him. Well, every day they can buy a score low. Score for one five. Man buy 80 and you coach him. Wow. This now makes it very difficult to comprehend because we don't know who is saying the truth and who is not. Still on the live session, Fish admitted being on drugs and this is how he made it sound. I quote. I don't smoke marijuana, I smoke herbs. 
I thought there was no difference between marijuana and herbs. Maybe the one fish is smoking is way more stronger than marijuana. What do I even know about drugs? The only thing different from herbs that I know is tramadol. We pray fish gets over his drug issue quickly on his own because he said he needs no help. What's happening between law enforcement officers and civilians? It's becoming rampant and we can't go a week lately without hearing of an encounter between a law enforcement officer and a civilian and at times for reasons which makes no sense. Watch this guys. Madam, this country is no longer balanced. I mean, what's all this? Uh, the law enforcement officers gradually losing respect from civilians because I don't understand what, what we all this fighting. And maybe it's high time we sell this country, we divide the money so we all can choose our different gym countries. What do you think about that, guys? And if you are sharing the money and choosing our gym countries, which country are you choosing? Because as for me, what I'll choose, I'll tell you at the end of the show. On African show be seen, Grammy Awards winning Nigerian and international superstar risk it sells out all his three shows slated for the O2 Arena in London in less than 60 minutes combined. The first show of his Made in Lagos store scheduled for the 28th of November sold out in just 12 minutes. And based on popular demand, Whiskey introduced a second show which equally sold out in just two minutes. Gosh, this can only happen with Nigerian artists. I wonder the year it will happen for Cameroon too. Is it ever going to happen? Who knows? And still on that, based on popular demand, Whiskey had to introduce a third show still at the O2 Arena and it sold out same. Three shows selling out in less than 60 minutes if you have to combine them together. Note that the Auto Arena has the capacity to accommodate 20,000 music fans. Guys, I can't wait to see in which way Risky would do his grand entrance on stage. I mean, Bonaboy did it in a spaceship. In which way would Starboy give us the vibe? Anticipate, guys. We can't wait. That's all we have for the first segment of this program, guys. Thank you so very much for still watching. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Go nowhere, guys. I'll be right back. Our number 10 video of the week is this beautiful hardcore rap from Limbe Bass young rapper Taylor Mike Traps. The song is titled Mboko Bass. Watch and enjoy, guys. I know the rap never fights opposition, but men and the look me led their competition. Music the care with my PA for Paolo. People the play love, it talks in a war. Massa, I beg, leave me that talk. Popping up at the ninth position is this beautiful rap song from Dion's. It's titled Make Up. Boss, I know say one day you go make up. Position is this beautiful rap song titled 237 Preacher 2 from Fucho. Walking on a weekend like usual. Morning or the green come I go do how. I know Fiki Mass if I don't do too. Our number seven video of the week is coming straight away from Abstrumenta. The song is titled Cover Me. Only you know my story. You always there for me when I'm lonely. Yeah. Popping up at the sixth position is this beautiful freestyle from Mine. It's titled Big Mami. It's Mine, bitch. When I had the decor, it's here. Yeah, it's been a minute when I look here, I don't come back. From now on, I'm back to back. Back go bigger. Wasting up the chances, niggas got to knock. Wahala Day pops up at the fifth position and it is straight away from Lexi. Wahala Day, oh, if I don't see my baby, oh, I could kill somebody, oh, if I don't see my sweetie, yeah. 
Popping up at the fourth position is this beautiful collabo song from Kid Flex featuring Bless B and it is titled Shorty. Shorty, yo. A million dollar baby, yo. With this your body. And number third video of the week is this beautiful smashing brand new release from Asaba and it's titled Ziza. <laughs> Popping up at the second position is this beautiful brand new release titled and they see from the very talented local. You know. hey. Come in impression que les anges chantent plus. Still topping our playlist is this beautiful song titled Fire from Mimi featuring Loco. The song is almost clocking a million views on YouTube, guys. Keep enjoying. That's all we have for the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. You have the power to get your favorite artists on and off the countdown. Just propose them to us in the comment section. And pick up the week coming up right away. Cameroonian artist Mr. Leo will be releasing on the 24th of September his 13th track's first studio album titled Lion of Africa. The masterpiece features artists like one she cfx and his two children jc joy and Nadie leon this is going to be mind-blowing guys this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show hot and juicy i was here to serve you call me miss Ben. i'll be right back next week with so much more for more information on the common entertainment industry follow us on facebook on twitter on instagram it's 237 showbiz and we are very much active on our website too make sure you're part of us on telegram it's 237 showbiz and follow our new division 237 showbiz studios guys do have a great weekend <laughs> I know you want to cut me. What do you want to do?